have Charlie Ostrom, Lucas Meek from Washington. Uh, with that, we'll open it up for questions. I guess I'll start. Um, so, yeah, Charlie, you shifted the ball to your right foot there. Uh, you're a week of foot. Uh, where are you thinking when you fired that in? <laughs> I, I don't know. I, that's a once-in-a-lifetime goal, um, and it just came at the right time. And I'm just so happy that I can do that for the team. And when I was hit, when I took the touch, I was just thinking, hit this back post high, and hopefully it goes in. Lucas, what was uh, what were your intentions on uh, on the ball? Isn't that the question of the day? <laughs> um, well. I, I was thinking to myself, let's let's put in a good cross in the right area, and um, luckily it kind of worked out for me, and it turns out to be a great shot. So we can call it a cross, we can call it a shot, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you, what were your thoughts when it went in? Cause you probably weren't expecting that to go in. No, I was not expecting it to go in, and that might have represented on my face as I started running over to celebrate with the guys, but. Um, as kind of Charlie said, just so excited to kind of do that for the team and get in such a big moment to give us some confidence going forward. This is uh, two games in a row now. You guys have had, had like quick fire goals. Um, what is it about like scoring that gets you guys to really just pile on the pressure? Um, I think kind of just going off of momentum. Um, we're a team that plays with a lot of joy and togetherness, um, and kind of getting that first goal, I think, kind of gets everybody kind of in, a, like, a better mindset, you could say. Um, and so I wish I could say there was a special formula for scoring two quick goals, but um, we're, we're doing the right thing so far, so hopefully we can keep that going. Did you guys watch Clemson at all? We, yeah, we watched, we watched some of the game. What were your, what were your thoughts, and how about the quick turnaround? Um, I mean... We're playing for a national championship. Anything can happen. Um, but we're, we're really excited about the matchup. Um, we have full confidence in ourselves um, and what we can do on the field. So we're, we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we're just, we're just happy to be here. I mean, this, has been, this is our first time with the College Cup, obviously, for UW. And honestly, anything after being here is just extra. And if we can get an Addy and take that home for our fans and our alumni, it'll mean the world. What were your thoughts when uh, the last shot, the last second, where you were at? <laughs> I was terrified. <laughs> that kid's good. I mean, Georgetown's an incredible team and probably is going to be our hardest matchup of the tournament, possibly. And I just have a lot of respect for them. So we came to this game with with real seriousness because we know they're a good squad. I mean, they beat you guys, obviously, a couple of years ago and knocked you out. Does it, it give me any more getting a chance to get back at them or not? Uh... I, I think we've said this, um, that we haven't wanted to play for any revenge. We've tried to play for ourselves um, and what we know we can do. Um, of course, it feels a little good, but <laughs> yeah, we're, we're here to play for ourselves and we know what we can do. Anything else for the guys? All right, guys, thank you. We'll see you on Sunday. Awesome. Thank Appreciate you so much. it. Thanks, guys. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Washington head coach Jamie Clark. Uh, coach, if you could start us off with an opening statement. Questions. Certainly. Um, just very proud of our guys. That was a it's a really good Georgetown team. We found out the hard way in 2019, and they were certainly good enough to uh, to you know move on today. But you know we we we've been seizing moments lately, and I think soccer you you take advantage of your moments. You you're going to keep winning games. So. Somehow, some way, we're uh, we're playing again, and we're and we're delighted. What was, what was the level of fear on that last second uh, <laughs> stab by Ruby? Yeah, I lost my mind a little bit, but um, well, probably a lot of it. But it was a, um, but I wanted actually an explanation, so that's why he said he's going to give you a card. Well, if he gives me a card, then I will get an explanation. But I just don't, I don't understand that. If it's a tactical foul, then I understand. But if it's just a, a foul in the run of play, like it, the. I didn't realize the game should stop. So anyway, it's the referee's dis uh, discretion. So you know he made that choice, which is absolutely fine. Um, but it was worrying. 
and then the, the free kick into the box where the has the chance. The yeah, that was. Um, <clears throat> that's what I'm saying because it gives them a chance to put 11 guys in the box, and it just becomes a melee of a of a situation where I thought the clock was going to run out, but. Um, you know they can beat you a lot of ways. They they can play around you. They can play direct. I mean they're just they're just a f very talented team. Brian's done an incredible job. Um, so getting a result against them. I mean I think they're the best team in the country, and I've said that for most of the year. Now Clemson will want to prove that wrong too. So I, you know I, I respect them greatly, and I've known Mike since I was a high school kid in New Hampshire, and he was coaching at UNH. So um, it goes way back there too. So. Uh, you know, I got a lot of respect for him for what he's done the whole way through. And I, I mean, he told me that he had in our, his uh, his pool that he, you know, you know, just you know, did in the office sort of thing, that he had us in the final. He told me that like two weeks ago. So uh, I asked, I texted him after the game to ask him who he had winning because he never told me that, but he still hasn't given it to me. So you were the best team in the country. Um, yeah, we. I mean. Yeah, it's possible. Well, we're going to try to prove it on Sunday, that's for sure. But I, I mean, in terms of just flat out playing, I think they move the ball the best in the country. I think we're maybe the grittiest team in the country. What do you think about Lucas's goal? Was that? You know, yeah, kind of came out of nothing. Um, I'm not even sure what it was meant. But but we talk about box entries; they're super important. You, if you get the ball into the right areas, good things happen. And, and again, I think the guy who's unsung hero on that one's Geo, because I think Geo probably froze the goalie with his run. So you get runners in the box, and you're brave about that. Um, good things happen. Do you think you need one more goal to win? To win? I, I thought we were actually crazy enough comfortable at two nothing, and I thought it was going to take something a little special. And that was, I mean, that was a heck of a ball and header. Um, so you know, it took something, and I was, I was just hoping that we'd last to like six minutes or five minutes before it happened. Um, so it'd be less, you know, panic. But we, we still had good moments. Uh, we did run out of gas a little bit. So the turnaround to Sunday will be very tricky, I believe. So what are you going to do to combat that? You know, I mean, it's, I mean, again, I said he's one of my best friends, and Brian just said he's, you know, the success of their 2019 thing was just trying to get guys to move on from the Friday game as quickly as possible. Um, my only experience is losing on Sundays, so. Uh, you know, third time's a charm, I guess. And we'll, you know, we'll I'll ask you know my dad and other people who, what they think. But I do. I think just trying to move on and physically get and mentally get in a good spot um, because it's very easy to you know look at social media and believe you're good, and it just doesn't do us any. You know, we can reflect on that on Monday, and if we really are good enough, we'll 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 be able to celebrate it for a couple weeks. What did you learn on your two the two losses? Did you learn anything about the or not? The next oh yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I, I you know, I, I thought, but you know, this Sunday it's just a tight turnaround. I, I you know, I think, you know, we were probably outmatched my, when I was a player at Stanford, and we, we were trying to hang on in a game that a team, an Indiana team that was a powerhouse at Stanford. I mean, sorry, at um, New Mexico. I thought. Looking back in history, I think that was a team that could have done it, and we had a penalty to equalize, and it just didn't go our way. But it was a—I uh, did think that game we didn't start out for the first 30 minutes well. So, I think it's trying to get it just again, it's turning the page and, and just getting excited and, and having the right energy. And we've talked to our guys for the last three weeks. We have a lot of guys who haven't played a lot, and we've said, hey, if we you know play Friday Sunday for the first time in you know seven weeks or something, you guys are going to start. You know, not start, but you guys are going to come into play. And uh, there's three or four guys that we love and think the world of, and it will be fun to see, uh, you know, um, if they can, you know, seize that moment for us. What do you think about Clemson? <clears throat> you know, some, you know, again, some teams have like scouted beyond. Uh, we didn't really, I honestly haven't watched a single bit other than today on them. So we'll 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 be up late, and uh, and it will be an enjoyable couple of film, you know, games we'll watch and. Uh, I, I mean, from today, you could tell that they, they're mobile, they're athletic, they move the ball well. Um, you know, they, they cause problems and they don't, sc they don't give up too many goals. So, um, you know, it's, it's, we're going to have to defend really well again. And, and I think, you know, we're very good in transition. And I thought Notre Dame, towards the end of the game, looked the more likely to win just on those transition moments. So we got, we got to take something from that. Um, we, we just talk about bravery all the time. Um, we want guys to be brave and win or lose, we want to play that way. And, and I thought at the end, 
you know, when teams sometimes, I mean, our, while we got pushed back into our own half, we were still brave stepping out, and we and, and they were gonna they were gonna step and make teams beat us. And if they were good enough to to you know play a little combination around us or pull someone out, good for them. But we weren't just gonna um, make you know make it easy or, or um, you know play with uh, just we were gonna play with a passion, and I think that's just what we're about. And you see those guys, they're they're gritty. Thanks, Coach. Good. Congrats so much. Thank you. Really appreciate it.